Okay, so blackberry arugula salad with a, wait for it, plum vinaigrette. Mm. So I'm, first of all, I love food that's colorful. If you look at my Instagram, everything's got a lot of color going on there. Um, but I'm just really interested in mixing up some flavors that we don't always put together, you know. So I thought, um, I thought I'd try this, and I did, and I liked it. So let's pull up the recipe for that. So, we're going to start with making the dressing. So if, Mike, if you can pull up the, the little overhead there. These are the, uh, the plums that I, I'm gonna call it poached, I guess, um, in just water and a little bit. And I did that because it's, it's bringing all the juices out and it just softens it a bit, you know? Um, so we're gonna put that in. Let's bring so the skin comes off. The skin's just gonna fall off. It's just like if you take a, um, a tomato, you're making tomato sauce and you want to get rid of, you're using aroma tomato, you want to get rid of that skin. You kind of make the little X in the top of it and it just naturally will peel it off and leave it a little bit more tender, a little bit more palatable. So I'm going to put that in there to make the plum sauce and add the shallot. Ooh, I, love I do too. Actually, that was my Instagram post the other day. See? It all comes full circle. For years with onions, but I'm recently moved over to shallots. Shallots, yeah, I, I like that flavor. Yeah, yeah, they have a, the flavor's a little nice. more mellow, it which is. is what I like. And I a lot of my vinaigrettes, I like to use that, so it's kind of good. Put a little bit. I put the, uh, a little bit of salt. I put the lemon zest in there. I'm going to put my white balsamic vinegar in there just to change it up. I usually use the regular one, the brown one. Here is a honey hack. Are we ready for a honey hack? Honey hack. Are you ready? So, usually you put honey on, you know, on your measuring spoon and it gets stuck and you're doing this, right? So if you know you're using a recipe that has a little bit of olive oil in it, put a little bit of olive oil to coat it. Then come in. I learned this in cooking school. Yay! Come in. Come on, honey bear, work with me. We're live. <laughs> Don't be temperamental. There, so there's that. Now, I'm gonna, I don't know, Mike, I'm gonna pull this off so you can get this overhead. Ready? Yep. Watch how easy that's gonna just come off. Wow. And look, it just, pours right out. it just pours right out. So you're not wasting honey, you're not doing anything like that. So that's my honey hack for today, yay! Yay for the honey hack, we like that. So I'm going to sound, <laughs> turn this on, Mike's all ready. I'm just gonna give that a little go. And then I'm gonna slowly stream in my olive oil. And Mike, for you, I'll be, I'll make things a little bit easier. Slide it over, sort of over the head, overhead, over the head, oh my God. <laughs> and trying to do two things at once. But <laughs> it doesn't wanna come off. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna slowly stream that in. There we go. And I'm gonna pull it up a little bit more. <laughs> What do we have? I'll just pour it in here. You have a nice plum vinaigrette that's fresh. Look at that. It's sweet, it's fresh. There. And that is your plum vinaigrette. If I knock things over. <laughs> and so there's your vinaigrette, fresh, sweet, Something different, right? It's very different. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. Mike likes it. Yay. Yeah, so Mikey awesome. likes it. <laughs> so we can finish this up. We're going to bring in the arugula. And <laughs> I have stuff on there. I'm just going to pour. I always say underdress your dressing or your salads. You can always go back and add more. Um, and I'll bring it over to the table because I know. People like to have uh, 
I'm just going to scoot that around a bit. Making mess today. And I'll put a little bit more. You know, I love that you're using um, hazelnuts in the recipe. Yeah, just something different. And hazelnuts are a little bit more expensive. But you know what? I'm just using a little bit. So you just get a small package of them. Joni logged in. And hey, she hi. Hi, Joni. She said she loves using hazelnuts and she doesn't use them as often as she should. Yeah. So this is a great reminder. And here's a quick, another little hack. Hazelnuts, if you toast them, they're hard to cut because they're slippery, slippery little devils. So what I did, actually, I will show you. I have stuff everywhere. Um, my handy dandy, just to help me get started, don't pound it too much. I took my meat pounder, put it in the plastic bag, and I kind of lightly did that. Because when I was, unless you're really like comfortable with the knife, um, you can hand chop them after you know they've been toasted. But if you're not feeling that comfortable because they do slip, they're an odd shape, yeah. you know, uh, you can certainly do that. Don't pound it too much or it's going to get too fine. And you don't want dust, you know what I'm saying? So. So I'm going to come in and add some of these, and it's just fresh plums that I put in there. Get a little mix of that, and I'm going to add some of these. And I'm saving a few so I can top it off. I'm obsessed with arugula. I know. Arugula, you know what? I didn't used to like arugula that much, and I went to, where was I, in Argentina. And I kept getting arugula salad with the regular balsamic vinaigrette, vinegar or vinaigrette. Right. It was so good, and that's what turned me on to the whole thing. So, so we're just gonna plate that. I'm sorry, what kind of cheese was that? I'm sorry, it was a goat cheese. Yes. Mmm, goat cheese. Love it. Cheryl says hi uh, from Hawaii. Oh, from Hawaii. Hello. How are you? I'm actually gonna be there in a few weeks. I will be in Hawaii. Um, which is exciting. And my frat Kevin. Your friend Kevin. Oh, hey Kevin, how are you? Your frat hey, Kevin. Hey, <laughs> what's up Kevin? So we've got that. I'm going to come in and add a few sprinkle more of these on top. Yum, yum. And add some more blueberry. Blue I want to say blueberries. I should just make something with blueberries. Blackberries. What is my problem today? You know what it is? <laughs> Because somebody brought me blueberries today, that's why. And then we're going to add that on there. The hazelnuts. Awesome. You like the drinks? Yeah. And I'm. You just be a lady and sip on it, but it's kind of hard. So done. funny. <laughs> and there is the little salad. It's very, very simple, very fresh. Mm -hmm. A little bit yeah. of a different taste. It's beautiful. And here you go. If you want more, more dressing, I will happily do that. Thank you, darling. <laughs> You're welcome. Look at those blackberries. Mm, yum, yum. <laughs> They're, They're not blueberries. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> mm. Such a treat. Mm. Yeah? You good? Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good.